What's up guys, in today's video I'll be covering if you should use edit mode aim assist on controller. Edit mode aim assist was a feature that was not always in the game. Fortnite added this in for all controller players around season 4 of Fortnite, but recently I've been seeing a rise of videos and reddit topic discussions on if you should be using edit mode aim assist now here in season 10 of Fortnite. For any setting in Fortnite though, you do need to keep in mind that it is going to come down to preference, but for people that haven't tried this out before, I'll try my best to explain this briefly. So just like aim assist, basically it's trying to guide your edits. So it can feel kind of weird if the game starts trying to finish the edit off for you, but I'll read off what Fortnite actually described it here when they first add it into the game. So edit mode aim assist by Fortnite is defined as, when playing with the controller and using edit mode to modify your builds, Aim assist will kick in and pull your crosshair towards the closest square. It will also try to confine your aim to the building piece that you are editing. We've heard that some players find this feature uncomfortable to play with, so you'll be able to toggle it on and off here in the Season 4.3 update. So what this means is if any of you guys have been playing Fortnite before Season 4, this option was not always in the game, but edit mode aim assist was always in the game. So if you try to remember back how editing was way back when, it was probably a lot harder to edit back then when you didn't have this option. But for anybody that actually played Season 1 through 4 and maybe took a break and is coming back in Season 10, first of all, I'm sorry because there are robots in the game and they're absolutely terrible, but this is a feature that you may need to kind of rethink about and rethink if you actually still want to keep this on or off. Now that's enough of me actually talking about it, let's hop into an edit course and I'll show you guys gameplay of me not using it and gameplay of me using edit mode aim assist and let's analyze the differences and see what it does. The way I'm going to test it in today's video is going into Can Duke's All Skills edit course. I'll be doing the medium difficulty edit course. I'm going to do a round of the edit course with edit mode aim assist on and then I will do a round of it off and then we're going to compare the results at the end and I'll give you guys my final verdict on what I think about edit mode aim assist. So this is the footage right here of me doing the edit course with edit mode aim assist on and this is just my initial thoughts after and honestly I'm very surprised at how natural it actually felt. I haven't really tried edit mode aim assist and probably like since it actually came out I've always just had it turned off because it just felt a little, more, little bit better. I don't know it's always been preference for me and just like all these settings by the way they're going to come down to preference so don't just take what I say and go with it. But for this one I was actually pretty surprised at how just natural it felt and how comfortable it with the edits for a lot of them i actually felt like it was grabbing the edits a lot earlier than i was used to which actually felt kind of good because i could do wall edits a little bit sooner personally i didn't have too much of like the pool on my screen with aim assist that i used to feel with it i'm not sure if they tweaked the setting at all but i was actually pretty surprised at how natural it felt and i didn't really struggle any of my edits i actually felt like it kind of helped me down on my edit down towers if you guys saw the footage of that on the screen so after doing this, I got a score of, or a time of, 317, I should say, which I'm actually, I'm pretty okay with. It's considered bronze, but now let's check it out with edit mode aim assist off, which is what I'm used to. Now, this is me doing it with edit mode aim assist off in this footage right here, and there wasn't really like a huge difference on and off, it's just more I am used to having edit mode aim assist off whenever I play and do an edit course, but what do you guys see in the gameplay? Comment down below, does it look more jerky or look more smooth? I would actually go as far as saying my gameplay felt a lot smoother with edit mode aim assist on, and in this one here, it just, I don't know, it just feels like my regular gameplay, there's no real big difference at all. So please let me know down in the comments, I'm not going to actually go too far into because you guys have seen edits before these are just plain edits but edit mode aim assist off i actually did get two seconds faster and keep in mind i'm pretty used to having edit mode aim assist off so there was only a two second difference on the screen here i got 319 instead of 317 so personally i'm not too sure how i feel about that considering i've always in my settings videos told you guys to turn edit mode aim assist off so i got pretty similar scores so my final verdict on edit mode aim assist is it's going to come down to preference whatever you're used to i would suggest just sticking with it but for me personally what i'm actually going to do and what i think is probably good for everyone to try i'm going to go a couple of days playing with edit mode aim assist on i was actually pretty shocked by the fact that i got very similar scores i thought i was going to blow my score out of the water with my edit mode aim assist off just because i've always played with it i'm actually going to have to test it out in game though and test it out with some fighting situations but as far as just plain editing goes i don't see any issues with edit mode aim assist i think a lot of this could be to the fact that i tried it about 
you know, probably six, seven months ago in the past, and that was when I was still on PS4. I have upgraded to a PC, so that be, could be playing a big factor in this as well, just having better frames. But edit mode aim assist was making my edits feel a lot smoother in the edit course, and just in general, I think it's going to help a lot with my fighting. So I'll let you guys know in my next settings video, if I make a cover of video, how I feel about it overall with fighting. But my final verdict is it's all going to come down to preference so make sure to try it out at least give it a shot to try edit mode aim assist on because that's what i'll be doing for the next couple of days and seeing if i like it and actually giving it a that's all for me guys hopefully i opened your guys up to edit mode aim assist might not be as bad as i made it out to be in the past and you should probably actually check it out if you guys do enjoy the video make sure to sub turn on post notice leave a like leave a comment you guys know the deal I'll see you guys in the next one peace